Your brain is bathing in about half a cup of fluid, with up to 24 milliliters being made an hour. But your skull is pretty firm and doesn't expand, so where does all of this fluid go? Much like how buildings drain excess fluids through pipes that lead into a sewage system, our bodies also have a network of vessels moving things, like fluids, around. It's called the lymphatic system, and while this network seems to run all throughout the body, it hadn't been observed much around the brain in humans until recently. Using magnetic resonance imaging, clinicians injected a dye-like substance to help them visualize the pooling of liquid in human and marmoset brains. In MRIs of both species, they saw evidence that fluid leaked out of the blood vessels surrounding the brain and collected into what seemed like lymphatic vessels. This is a big deal because we didn't know where these lymphatic vessels were or if they were even there. Now we know they're part of the outermost layer of connective tissue surrounding the brain called the dura. This finding will open up so many more avenues of research. Imagine that you didn't know where any of the pipes were in your home or that you couldn't even find the toilet really. If something were ever going wrong, you wouldn't be able to find the source of the problem and sparing you the detailed description, it'd be a stinking mess. And we've gone years without being able to fully identify this path of waste out of the brain. And this might be relevant to degenerative diseases related to aging, like Alzheimer's disease, where toxic byproducts build up in the brain instead of getting removed. But that's just one avenue. The lymphatic system does so much more than remove waste. In other parts of the human body and in rodent brains, the lymphatic system helps traffic immune cells between the blood and different tissues. Interestingly, while the blood vessels directly supplying blood to the brain have a protective layer called the blood-brain barrier controlling what gets in, the arteries and lymphatic vessels outside the brain don't have the same gating system. This means that they're an easier entry point for dysfunctional immune cells to get on the highway to the brain. This has been observed in other parts of the human body and also in rodent brains, but this study didn't get that far. Instead, it showed the lymphatic vessels were present in the dura, that the fluid collected in them and then drained out of the brain. But future studies will focus on whether immune cells can also travel into the brain via these vessels. Because if they can, the researchers hypothesized these newly located lymphatic vessels might be incorrectly trafficking immune cells around the brain in diseases like multiple sclerosis. There are still lots of mind-blowing questions to ask about the lymphatic system surrounding the brain, but hey, at least we know how our heads won't literally explode from all the fluid in them. Thanks for watching. Julian has a great video about the blood-brain barrier and how it works, and it's awesome. You can watch it here. Oh, and one last thing. Previous studies in mice found that there's an increase in fluid flow during sleep, so perhaps these lymphatic vessels are working extra duty to pump out toxins while we slumber. And maybe that's why sleep is so important.